I want to share a movie of a small and very active volcanic island named Tinaluca. You probably never heard of it, as did I until I started a little bit of research on the island. I will share as much as I have found so far and will share more in the future. Tainakula is a conical stratovolcano which forms an island north of Nendo in Temotu Province, Solomon Islands. It lies at the north end of the Santa Cruz Islands. It is about 3.5 kilometers wide and rises 851 meters above sea level, rising 3 to 4 kilometers from the seafloor. The volcano was first recorded in eruption in 1595 when a ship sailed past it. The island is now uninhabited. A population was eradicated when the volcano erupted around 1840 and pyroclastic flows swept all sides of the island. In 1951, Polynesians from Nakapu and Nupani settled on the island, which reached a peak population of 130, before it had to be evacuated with the 1971 eruption. The village of Tamataneni was on the southeast coast. In the late 1980s, two families from Nupani made another attempt at settlement. In 1971 there was a major eruption that caused a tsunami. This is an eyewitness account from that eruption. On the 6th of September at about 1800, the people of Neo village on Trevanian Island heard a low, continuous thundering sound coming from the volcano. At the same time a thick dark cloud poured from its summit until the sea between the volcano and Trevanian Island, including the two Neo villages facing it, was engulfed in this low-lying thick dark smoke. The thundering sound and the dark smoke went on for about two hours. At about 20 hundred there was a sudden burst of a louder sound. Simultaneously, a huge flame shot up from the summit of the volcano. This flame was described as later dividing into two corkscrew-like tongues of fire, one slanted to the east and the other to the west side of the volcano. After 1971, which caused major landslides on the west side of the island, there have been several earthquakes nearby and in 2017 and 2019 eruptions were somewhat bigger. Because of the remote position of the island not a lot of material is available but it is a very active volcano and the island is part of a big string of active geothermal chimneys. Most of them have gone quiet over time, but seafloor temperature can still reach well over 200 degrees Celsius. The area is called the Tinaluca Deposit and is one of the largest no-sulfur deposits in the world. Not all recent eruptions are well documented. Satellite imaging is perfect way for monitoring the volcano and it seems it has been active last year and this year as well. If you compare the size of the island in 2022 with the size it had in 2017, the lava added at least 50 meters of land westward over a coastline of about 500 meters. This exciting volcano does not get the attention it deserves as it is a potential big volcano on a paradise island.